So 4 p.m. 603. That's pretty good. That's 131 in an hour. 131 watt hours. So it's ten past five. Ten past five, we're on eight hundred and twenty-four. Uh, the weather's saying seventeen mile an hour winds, probably about right back in an hour. Uh, Six p.m. We're on nine seven nine. It's saying nineteen mile an hour winds, so not great. But hopefully, get some sustained winds, and we'll come back in an hour. See what it's saying. It's six fifteen p.m. Not the usual hourly hello, a fifteen minute hello. Uh, starting to get some nice gusts in. I can't get the inverter working at the moment. So as soon as we've got some juice, I'm going to put the diesel heater on. Not from the C13 on this bad boy. So we'll start that up. We'll just keep a note of how long we run it for. On the free electricity. So yeah, 6.15. Just crossed a thousand. Sweet. Just noticed it takes exactly one minute for the pump to come on. Sweet. Oh no, I do apologise, the inverter is actually working. So if it starts getting hella windy, we'll load it up a bit more. It's 20 past six. I always run this in the cheapest mode. Hold these two buttons. Sweet. So yeah, we'll come back in a bit, see how that's going on. As for the wind, it's definitely picking up. Sweet! So that's been running on minimum for 35 minutes. It's even got a little remote control. So let's crank it up a bit. It's five to seven, it just seems to have got a bit windier. I'm just going to power down the diesel heater uh, so we don't have any over voltage problems from the battery. It's been on 41 minutes. 7 o'clock, so we'll call that 11.75 at 7 o'clock. Just a reminder, we're running the two LED lights from the inverter. And that's it, and just a phone charger as well. It's 10 to 8, I just wanted to get this thing going again. Right, it's 8 p.m. Just a quick check, 1407. Uh, I'd say it's 20 miles per hour wind. Uh, it's getting pretty windy. Sounds like a gust, there it is. Lost. Another gust. Whoa. Just gonna try plugging the 400 watt security light into the inverter. Yep, it's on. So now we're running, I believe, about 470 watts. I've got to keep an eye on the voltage because of the diesel heater. So I'm keeping an eye, trying to keep it above 23. So unplug that 400 watt one. Turn this off again. So yeah, we'll come back. It's about half seven, we'll come back at eight o'clock just to see what the power's been, but you can see it's starting to clock along very nicely. Sweet. Just for the record, in case I cocked up, it's now nine minutes past eight. Cheers. It's 9 p.m., it's getting very windy. I'm uh, gonna record for a minute, and hopefully we'll get some big juice. If it stays over a kilowatt for a while, then what I'll do is I'll put the 400 watt load on. So nine o'clock, 17.17. Come back at 10 o'clock and we'll see what it's saying. Sweet. It's 
It's ten minutes to ten. We'll stick with this and I'll speed it up a bit. It's just about to be 10 p.m. So that means we'll have been running for 12 hours and we'll have made approximately 1.75 kilowatts. I've got a note of all the numbers and we'll do them at the end, but we'll leave this on until 10 o'clock and then we'll know. So we'll call that 10 o'clock, 1932. Still just running the two LED lights. Well, as Gus, we'll stick with this for a couple of minutes <clears throat> and then we'll come back in an hour. Do you what? While I'm in here, let's put that 400 watt security light on as well through the inverter. See what happens. It's still running pretty well. So it looks windy enough to run what is essentially 460 watts. I'll stick with it a minute while it's really windy and then I'll go back inside and come back out at 11 o'clock. So yeah, rock on, we'll leave those lights to do their business. We'll come back at 11 o'clock. Sweet. It's just gone 10, it's about 20 past 10 and it's getting super windy. So I'm gonna put the other 400 watt light in so we'll be running 800 watts. There, right, that's running 800 watts on the load. So that may be the end of the power making extravaganza. But it's getting super windy. Seems to be okay for now. That's running 800 watts from there. It'll soon empty the batteries if there's no power coming in. We'll stick with it for a minute. It may well be the case that the inverter switches itself off and then switches itself back on if there's enough power, we'll see. <clears throat> but it's getting so windy that I need to do this for now, otherwise I'll put, end up putting the brake on. The power's still clocking up nicely. Once you go in the house, we'll leave these 800 watts worth of lights running. <laughs> 